Hey fam, how are you? Hey sweetie B. <clears throat> Sorry, mm, my throat. I'm sitting here in my car, chilling. Waiting for my son to come out to take him <sighs> home. Um, you know, they doing distant learning, so a lot of kids have to deal with that. Uh, today I'm coming because I'm a little concerned about one of our fellow YouTubers, um, Trucker Red is missing. Um, when I say Trucker Red, Trucker Red is missing, meaning that like on social media, his account seems not to be there anymore. And the few people who know him, because really, I'm going to tell you something. On this YouTube stuff, a lot of us are really cool with each other. Like, a lot of us say encouraging words in the messenger uh, down at the bottom. Um, we support each other. Um, it's a group of us who are, like, really positive people. You know, positive people. They positive YouTubers out here. Like, guilty. He's real positive. Um, Apocalypse. Um, I like him. He's positive. Nice man. Um, um, I think it's KB Smooth. I mean, I'm calling out names. I like them. I like him too. Positive young guy. Um, just some positive people. Uh, and we all laugh together. Sometimes we go on each other uh, podcast to support. You know, joke. You know, me. Uh. I was the first female cousin, so I definitely hung out with the boys, all my cousins. I was the only girl, and so in order to hang out with them, we used to go up to D.C. and Eastern Market for the people from D.C. You know what I'm talking about. Eastern Market, and we'll watch the uh, Bruce Lee movies. So I'm definitely a tomboy at heart. I'm a cute tomboy, but... I'm still one. So, with that being said, um, Trucker Bird, um, sorry, Trucker Red, I'm tired. I'm saying like I'm on something myself. <laughs> I'm on something. Trucker Red, um, Guilty was saying that he's gone. And, I, I, and that was, listen, I went away from the weekend. Yeah, I took a little, little mini vacation. Um, yeah, I had a good time. No, I wasn't alone. Mm -mm, that's a whole nother story right there. But, yeah. So, people wondering what happened to Trucker Red. So, these are my three things that I think happened to Trucker Red. Number one, would Trucker Red just stop making videos and go away? It's possible. He's a family guy, worker. He maybe got tired of it sometimes. And it's true when you talk about one subject mainly and then that kind of like die out you may feel like i don't got nothing to say two um hey family his wife could have put her foot down listen babe i don't want you on here you spending too much time with this more time with the family and you know chuck red chuck red said family comes first three could someone take over your youtube account it's possible, but it's highly unlikely because if he did, he could easily go start another account or send a message to someone, and we at least know that. So, <clears throat> my personal opinion is what happened to Trucker Red was that simple that it was just too much for him. It was too much for him. Sometimes when you start getting all that attention, like, he was just doing it for fun. Then all of a sudden, boom, he up to almost 2,000 subscribers. Like, he's he's popping. They want more live with him. They more want content. But what's the content you really going to use? You know, you have to have some type of angle with this YouTube thing to make it. Like me, for instance, Um, before I go to trucking school, I decided to share my journey. But then sometimes I wonder myself, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to talk about? You just talk about yourself. But if they only know you for talking about other people or jokes about other people, because I love, you know, he roasts people. You know, he bring that pressure. 
you know, and it's fun and not, but after a while, like it's about to get warm. People dying down from the drama. And maybe he just taking a break to shit. Take the family on a vacation for two to three weeks. But whatever he's doing, he's a cool dude, and I wish him the best. Uh, me personally, um, I take some more endorsements on the 31st. You know, I told y'all I'm venturing to a new relationship. So I'm kind of, I'm into that, you know. I'm going to tell y'all something. My next video, we're going to talk about love. We're going to talk about romance. I, yeah, I'm going to take y'all fellas there. Now, I'm, you know, I went on Guilty Podcast or whatever, and we was talking about intimacy and stuff like that. And what I realized that men in trucking, I think they the most... I think men in trucking is really the most kind of sexiest guys. Because, no, this is why I say it. Because it's something about him going on the road and then him coming back to you. And, you know, of course, everything going to be right for that time together. But I think I want the trucker, I want him to know what that woman wants. And But then in another sense, a lot of truckers, I think it's two type of women. It's the type of woman you will just be intimate with. And then it's the type of woman you want to claim. And it's a difference. But I still feel any man who goes in them situations should do his best to um, please her. And not just please her, but please yourself. And your reputation as a lover means something. I don't care if you ain't going to be with her, but I mean, even if it's a girl you just hook up with here and there, she could at least say, hmm, well, hmm, you know, like, I don't mind seeing him again, you know, he can get it, he can get it, anytime he in town, he can get it, so, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that, I think I'm going to spend a couple of minutes talking about that, <sighs> what a woman wants, lesson number one, I'm only going to share one. And then the next video, we're going to go more into it. Um, Foreplay. I want to talk to y'all about foreplay. I know I went from trucker red to foreplay. I know. Mm. But what I'm saying to you is that nobody wants to just be thrown on the bed and popped with the business. We need a little bit of stuff before the business. You know, and I understand she may not be your lady. Um, hopefully she's smelling good. That helps the situation. Yeah, hygiene. Make sure your hygiene correct and her hygiene correct. That's very important. Even men, you have to soak yourself. You have to, yeah, soak them. Because, you know, you've been on the road. You've been sitting in that chair. And if you're going to get a hotel, take a bath, soak it. Um, you know what? My best soap that I like, and a lot of people don't know about it, is called Coast. C O A S T. It's a very drying soap. It dries you, but what it does, it pulls all that oil out. And then what you could do after you use that soap, you could use another soap to add the moisture back. But it's a really good soap because me personally, when I'm with that special someone, I would like to know his body is you know, clean as possible because, you know, it might be things I want to do and, um, places I want to go. And I just want to make sure, um, it's correct. And I think a woman should do the same. She should make sure her body is correct. Ladies, don't meet up with somebody and y'all go out. Y'all go do this, and then you come back then. You know things ain't right, and you, you take a chance on that. Hey, say, babe, I need to go freshen up. You know, freshen up means I need to take, take my little shower. You know, have your little kit. Or oh, better yet, man, okay, because I'm talking to trucking men, have a kit for these women. You should have a little bag that has soap, a washcloth, um, some lotion, some deodorant, and mouthwash. Have that kit. Make about three or four of them. Yeah, make three or four kits for these women. And when they come, give it to them. Hey, babe, yeah, we're going to be together. We're going to spend a night. Huh, here's a little kit. You know, go freshen up in the bathroom. 
That should be her hint. Go clean your butt. Clean yourself. Once she's clean and you clean, at that point, you can touch her, kiss her behind her ears, her neck, you know, her chest. You know, you can, you can just hold her, you know, pull her close to you. Um... You know, and that foreplay, please, it makes everything move a little better. It it makes everything slide a little better. You know what I mean? It makes everything slide a little better. Um, well, I'm going to go more into this in my next video. So this is part one. So we down, we already talked about the shower. We, we talked about the kit that you want to get the woman. You want to have her some soap, deodorant. Sure, you can have some some oil. You can rub it on her body if you want. You know, that's if you wanted them. Uh, you know, you want them men who like to do that. You know, cause ain't nothing like, and she can rub it on you. So I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. But so right now we talked about the shower. We talked about the little kit you gonna have in your house, three or four of them. Put a couple in the car too, just in case. You know, y'all go somewhere get a hotel room. So we fresh, we smelling good, you know, we our breath smelling good, you know, um, we, we about to enter into this intimate moment. That's going to be, it's going to be beautiful because at the end of the day, you are prepared for that night. So my next video, I'm taking you step by step into that perfect night. And what that woman really wants. We'll talk soon.